Hey guys, already David here. It has been quite some time since I showed you a tour of my dock, so yeah, it's time to do it again, to put it simply. And as usual, I will give you a quick preview of each application I use almost on a daily basis. So to start out, we have the Finder. Nothing too special here, just the Finder. We have our shared PCs and Macs on the left. Actually, just one Mac, but that gives you a good idea. And I have my shortcuts on the left over here, uh, mostly having to do with graphic design work. So that's Finder. Dictionary, which I actually use on a daily basis. Um, maybe that's not the average user's use. I'm not really sure, but I do use this literally on, on a daily basis. I love it. Um, it's a very simple app, but it's very powerful. Knowledge is power. That's what they say, right? So, for instance, I'll search Apple. Now it's going to say the fruit. Yes, the round fruit of a tree um, of the rose family. So, not overly exciting, but pretty cool to me. Apple Mail. I practically live out of this application. That's how I handle all my work and how I stay in contact with everyone. iCal, this is how I keep track of my sponsors, my payments, holidays, and anything else worth noting. So I use that on a regular basis. Safari is my primary web browser. I love Safari. Um, I think it was last year I went through a phase where I didn't like it. Um, I just It just had some speed issues, but ever since upgrading to Safari 4, I believe? Yeah, Safari 4. Um, it's been great. I also have Firefox as a secondary browser, although I usually use this one for coding purposes. For instance, if I'm um, working on a website, give it a second to launch. It's not the fastest application on the Mac. Any second now. But yes, like I said, when I'm working on a website, I usually use this extension down here. It's called Firebug. You click that. It's lagging a little bit. It has to start up. There it goes. Now, usually if you click it, it pops it right away like that. And you can actually inspect each element of the website. For instance, if I click on here in the main content column, I can see all the CSS values on the right, which I think is awesome. 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 And I'm sure many others will agree with me. It's a great, great, great extension. I cannot say that enough. Next up is Chrome, which is actually over here in my secondary monitor. Let me bring that over here. I use this every day. Um, I usually use this for blogging purposes and to work on websites as well and to use it for a code tweet. So yeah, I love Chrome. I'm a big fan of it actually. And it finally has support for extensions or add-ons or they call it something I forget. But yeah. Moving on over to Twirl. This is also on my Dell display. I'll bring it over. This is easily my favorite Twitter application. I cannot find another one that even comes close. Um, it's my preference, and like I said, it's easily my favorite Twitter app. So let's put that back over there. We also have Tweety over here, which I use for my Tech Setups account. Sorry, activated expose there. I use this for my Tech Setups account at twitter.com slash tech setups. So if you're interested, follow me over there. That's my new website, which I have yet to make a video on, but the website is fully live and functional, so check it out. We also have Skype. I'm not a huge Skype user to be honest, but I do appreciate the uh, application. It's a very nice application. Um, I use this to keep in touch with my clients and some close friends of mine. But like I said, I don't use it that often. It's probably like a once a week kind of thing. Next up is Colloquy. For those of you who watch my live stream at thecreative1.tv slash broadcast, you should already know that this is the application I use to modify, modify, monitor, that's the correct word, monitor my chat room and to participate in my chat room. Once again, on my secondary display, bring that over here and I'll say, hello. And now people will be like, oh my God, David's here. So let's quit that before we start any conversations. Colloquy is a great app. I don't think it's out for Windows, but um, for Windows, what is it? can't think of the name right now but if if you're a Mac user definitely check out Colloquy it's easily my favorite IRC app next up is fetch I use this as a lot, um, a lot as well this is what I use for my F FTP application for those of you not aware FTP stands for file transfer protocol it's just a faster and much easier way of transferring files from your local disk which is what you're looking at right now on my Mac to the server for instance if I use GoDaddy I can transfer my files over to GoDaddy servers directly within this application without even using web browser another godsend since I use that kind of thing every day well almost every day 
Next up is iTunes. Maybe this is a uh, future video I'll do where I go through my music. And my music, movies, TV shows. Actually, a lot of these TV shows I don't even watch anymore. Some of them are free. Podcasts. I'm a huge podcast person. Books. I have I was the audiobook. Apps. A lot of apps. Ringtones. Radio, which I really don't use that often. And then, of course, my playlist. So if you guys want, just ask and possibly I'll do a video on that in the near future. Next up is AOL Radio. Many of you already know that I'm a huge fan of AOL Radio. It is free. It has ads to be expected. It's free. So, yeah, what do you expect? The ads actually aren't bad at all. They're only like two minutes each, I think. Um, and then it goes back into the music. So, AOL Radio is brilliant. I cannot say that enough. Um, they have tons of different presets. For instance, my favorite is probably video game scores. And, th and then they also have Final Fantasy Radio, Best of 2009, Zero's Pop, Piano Virtuoso. I really like that a lot. And Techno and so on and so forth. Great application, and it is free, so check it out. Next up is Stream Desk. For those of you not aware, this application practically owns me. This application is a godsend. If I'm watching somebody's live stream at Ustream.tv, I usually use Stream Desk. For instance, this is Chris Perlow's live stream. It's not perfect. It definitely has some issues, but it's free. It's amazing. Use it. Learn to love it, and all that good stuff. QuickTime Player. I use this all the time to view movies, and if I'm doing a video podcast, I would usually do new movie recording, and then you should see me pop up with my eyesight. There we go. Allow to adjust the lighting. Any second now. And there we go. What's up? All right. Enough of that. Close that. I'm tired. It is 1 o'clock in the morning. Okay. MPEG Stream Clip. This application, well, if I can say that, this application is downright ugly in my opinion. I mean, what the hell is that right there? Is that a die or I don't know what that is. But it's a great application. It does what it needs to very well, and that basically is it converts video. If I were to open a video, um, these would not be blurred out. For instance, I could export, well, grayed out rather. I could export to QuickTime, to DV, AVI, MPEG4, and the list goes on. Great application. Highly recommended. iMovie 2009. I love this application. I did not like 2008 at all. But 2009, as far as I can tell, combines the great features of 2006 and 2008 and actually makes a good application, this being 2009. Yes, it is um, year 2010, and we have yet to see a new version of iMovie. Where that is, we'll never know. Well, we'll know eventually, I should say. iPhoto. Most of you should know what iPhoto is. It's basically a photo management application. It's included free with every Mac, just like iMovie is. <clears throat> and let's hope nothing too embarrassing pops up here. And David's iPad. Those are just pictures and wallpapers I took and screenshots. So, yeah. Photo booth. This should be interesting. This might have embarrassing pictures. We'll see. And there I am again. That was actually taken for Daily Booth, but yeah. Actually, I use a lot of, um, I, I, I always use Daily Booth, I mean, Photo Booth for Daily Booth. Um, that's why most of these look familiar. What's next? Photoshop CS4. I was using the Photoshop CS5 trial, but it just expired a couple days ago. I know, I'm a sad panda. But I do practically worship um, Photoshop CS4. Well, I do worship it. It's a great application. I also have Adobe Illustrator CS4. I don't use it that often, but I launched it ahead of time to show you guys. InDesign CS4, I, I actually use now and then. Dreamweaver, I do use um, frequently, unfortunately, because it's a horrible application, in my opinion. Okay, okay, okay. I shouldn't say it's horrible. I just think it needs major work, and that's me. I used to worship this application, but now I just don't like it. I'll say that much. Text edit, I use this practically on a daily basis, or if I'm doing a video, such as a video blog where I'm talking on the camera, um, I usually have a few video notes jotted down right here. For instance, I'll open down here, iSkin cases notes. These are the notes for my iSkin case review video that I'll make in a few days or so, hopefully. Microsoft Word takes a second to launch but pretty self-explanatory if you don't know what Microsoft Word is you should just stop watching this video yeah sounds rude but it's the truth I think my cat even knows what Microsoft Word is 
And yes, I do have pages. I just don't use it that often, which is why it's not in my doc. Um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Microsoft Word. Amazing stuff, I know, right? And sarcasm here. System preferences. Not that overly exciting, but down here I'll show you my third-party um, apps or plugins, whatever you want to call them. I have, I don't even know what that is, to be honest. 3i VX MPEG-4. Connect 360, that allows me to stream media to my Xbox 360 for free. DevX, it's pretty self-explanatory. If not, Google it. Flip for Mac, WMV, that basically allows my Mac to play Windows Media files. Growl is a notification service for and for practically any app that supports it. Mouse Zoom, I actually like a lot because the default mouse settings, at least for me, are not fast enough. So I use a free app called Mouse Zoom. Google it if you're interested. Um, it basically allows you to make your mouse as fast as you want, and it gets pretty insane. Parian or Perian? Not even sure what this is. It has something to do with audio. I know that. It has to relaunch, and it's not fully compatible with the Snow Leopard. It's 32-bit version. Yeah, it has something to do with audio output. Not even sure to be honest. Power Mates. I have a video on that, so do a search if you're interested in that. Sizzling, uh, sizzling keys. If I could talk. Um, allows you to see what music I'm listening to down here in the corner. Actually, for instance, I'll play a random song. Obviously, the audio will be off for copyright reasons, but you can see it's down there in the bottom left. And if I click Next, you can see my songs actually show up. So it's great. Now let's pause that. And Squeeze, I believe this just compresses files. Yeah. I'll install that update later. I don't even use it that often. I don't even know where I got it, to be honest. But hey, it's there. If I need it, I'll use it. And finally, down here we have ScreenFlow, which is actually running right now. I don't use it that often, hence why it's not always on my dock, so it's right here for now. And that's what I use to record a screen capture, because I know I'm going to get a ton of people asking. And that's what I use. ScreenFlow, great application. Definitely check it out. Over here is a text edit document I have, because I use this, well, at least once a week. Application accepted.rtf. This is the application I send to my writers when I add them to the social blog at the... the uh, and launch it, the creative one TV, now featuring over 350 writers. So thank you very much to everyone who participates. I couldn't do this without you. So if you are interested in applying, you can go to social blog, writer application, and then fill out all the information and go from there. And if you're accepted, you will see this in your inbox. That just makes my job easier instead of having to type it out every time. And finally, downloads. I use this multiple times a day, especially for my techsetups.com site, but it's empty right now because I'd like to keep on top of things. I know, that's what she said. And finally, my trash can. Amazing stuff. Look at that pretty white blank space. Awesome. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic. All right, guys, there you go. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. And as always, feel free to add me on Twitter at twitter.com slash DavidDeFranco. I almost said the creative one, but please note that my new Twitter name is twitter.com slash David DeFranco. And you can also add me on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash David DeFranco. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. And so much for a smooth outro, Facebook. Thank you for taking forever to load. And there it goes. Thank you, Facebook. And thank you guys for watching. For real this time.